Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back <laughs> to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the, I'm going to be participating in the Dewey's 24 hour readathon, which just started a little while ago. I may have not woken up exactly on time. Well, I was up, but I didn't start reading. It's 8.42 at the moment. So yeah, mine started at 8 a.m. and it ends at 7.55 a.m. and this readathon is one of my favorites. It's the first one that I ever participated in when I started doing readathons. So I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna start this vlog off. Let's hope I actually do okay. And if I look not at the lens, don't mind me. I haven't used this camera in a long time because I haven't vlogged in a while. So yeah, well, let me show you my bullet journal plan. Like a little plan for it. So I got like the 24 hour readathon. Mine, because each person, like, depending on where you live, everyone starts at the same time, so everyone has, like, a different time they start at, but, like, it's the same time, because time zones, it doesn't, okay. <laughs> so, 8 a.m. to 7.55 a.m., um, TBR, The Roundhouse, Lover's Dictionary, My Friend Dahmer, um, so I want to make some progress on 1984, so, like, 25 pages, 50, 75, 100, um, Practical Magic I want to finish, and then the Tokyo Ghoul volumes that I have. Reminders, vlog, have fun, don't stress, Twitter sprints, so I'll be checking their Twitter and their website. I also have this page count thing, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work this, but I think I'm just going to write down how many pages I've read and then at the end total it up. Uh, it takes naps if needed, and I tried to remember that even though this is a 24-hour readathon, I, if I have to take a nap, I should, and drink lots of water, make sure I eat all my meals, snacks, all that stuff, because I know with these I can uh, forget to you know, take care. So yeah, that doesn't make much sense, but okay. So we're gonna lay out the books that I have, make a coffee. It's gonna be a great time. Some of the books here. So we have The Roundhouse. I don't know if I'm gonna read all these, but I just have them. The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. This is literally just quotes. I don't even know if I'm gonna really like that because it seems weird. I don't know. Um, my Friend Dahmer, which I'm really excited about. And that one I'll be able to get through for sure, hopefully. So that's what we have so far. Yay. And then I said the Tokyo Ghoul volumes. So I gotta go down to the manga shelf and try to get these. So I'll put these with the rest of the books that I want to read. So three, four, five, and six. And I think I had Practical Magic and 1984. Okay, so I'm currently reading Practical Magic gonna be on my nightstand so this book is like non-fiction so I'm just gonna oh not focusing this book is non-fiction so I'm just gonna be reading like bits of it throughout the day um like I don't want to sit and read it in one shot because it's non-fiction and it's about like crystals and horoscopes and all that good stuff and we need 1984 which is in my school bag because I'm reading it for school I literally bring the book pouch that my friend got me, that Kayla made for me, like, to school, like, every single day. <laughs> yes, we got it. We got it. And the thing about this one is I'm not planning to, like, finish the whole thing because, like, I have to tab it and make sure that I'm, like, good with it because we have to make reader's notes and stuff. <sighs> so, yeah. That is my tbr yikes this scares me okay great <laughs> so i think i'm gonna start reading at nine yeah i'm gonna start reading at nine i'm gonna go make myself a coffee get some breakfast get some water bottles in here to make sure i stay hydrated <laughs> so yeah let's go
it is about 10 o'clock now for an update. I have read 203, 186 pages. So I ended up finishing Tokyo Ghoul Volume 3. I gave this four stars, really good. Volume 4 I loved and I gave 4.5. And yeah, this quote was so good about books. Just I just love that. So yeah, everything's going good. I'm just about to start volume five and I'm really liking these. So yes, let's do this. Anyways, so right now it is 3.15. Um, in the meantime, since I last updated you, I read a bit at home. Then I went out for lunch. Then I came back to my house and I've been reading. So I ended up finishing like the second, like three quarter, the last three quarters of Practical Magic. I ended up giving this one four stars. I think I'm going to give it around a four star rating. I really enjoyed it. Um, there's some things in here that are like I don't believe in everything in here which is totally normal but it was just an enjoyable book and there was some chapters I like more than others of course but overall if you want to get into like crystals horoscopes spells whatever then this is probably a good one to check out and I ended up starting the lover's dictionary while I was out so I am just a little bit into this one. I'm 65 pages in, so I'm going to finish this one. And then I'm probably going to take like an editing break. So take a break, but I'm going to edit on my break instead because videos. So it is currently 8 o'clock. And in the meantime, I finished reading The Lover's Dictionary. I don't think I updated about that. I love how I don't remember. Um, I finished reading The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. So this is basically just like a love story between two dudes and it's like told through words. It's a diction, like it's told through like a dictionary format. So it'd be like the word would be like composure and then it would like say part of the story and like stuff like that. And it would go through the alphabet, obviously. I ended up giving this one around three stars. I thought it was okay. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't horrible. But it wasn't good. <laughs> like, it was okay. So that's my thoughts on that one. But I just... Then after I finished that, I took a nap. <laughs> because I, I remember saying at the beginning of this vlog, take naps if needed. So I needed one. So I took a nap and then I woke up and started and finished my friend Dahmer. So I think I'm going to give this one around 3.5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, well, enjoy is not the right word, but the writing style was really good. And I like, I enjoyed the writing style, the art style I really liked as well. And overall, like I got like a good background. Like it's like a very vague, but like decent overview of Jeffrey Dahmer and how he was seen in high school it doesn't show him as much after high school and like the killings and stuff it kind of summarizes it in the back a little bit but i just wish it had a bit more detail and that it was longer but it was it was pretty good so i think i'm gonna give this one like a 3.5 or 3.75 stars so yeah so my tbr has been knocked out so really i can read some of my 1984 or I can start the roundhouse, but this is 400 pages and I don't know, maybe I'll read a chapter and see. But for now, I think I'm just gonna chill. Maybe I'll do some editing because I should be. <laughs> so yeah. It is 
currently 1 a.m. and I finished my friend Dahmer like I last updated but recently I talked to a friend on the phone for about an hour. I've just been chilling. I finished editing this video. Thank god it was taking me forever so I finally finished it. It took so long but it's rendering right now and it, then I'm going to hopefully get it up for Sunday which is today. So yeah, because I've been editing it for a few days and I finally just like bit the bullet and just sat and edited it tonight and finished it. So I'm excited for that to go up for tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous actually because it's like a makeup thing, but hopefully you guys will still like it. And yes, so I'm probably going to lie in bed like in the dark and <laughs> read um, with like a little reading light. And I don't know if I'll update you guys any more tonight because I'm not going to stay up till 7 a.m. because I have a lot to do to like today. Well, tomorrow, but today I have a lot to do. So, yes. <laughs> I'm really happy with my reading so far, though. I did, like, I'm even if I stopped reading now, I'm really happy with it. I read four volumes of Tokyo Ghoul. I read Practical Magic, my friend Dahmer, and the Lover's Dictionary. So I'm really happy with that. And it got me back in the flow of vlogging and reading again. So that is great. And I finished a video. So overall, this day was pretty productive for me personally. So yeah. Yeah.